In 2023, Nigeria's imports of raw materials set by 25% to reach a staggering 3 trillion naira, according to data from the National Bureau of Statistics Foreign Trade Statistics. Now, the major imported raw materials included cane sugar, other lubricating oils for further mixing, milk preparations containing vegetable fat and oils, mixtures of odoriferous substances and sheets for veneering, among others. However, during the same period, Nigeria's raw materials exports were valued at only 1.8 trillion naira, resulting in a substantial 3.6 trillion naira trade deficit. I'm now being joined by the national president and founder of the Association of Micro Entrepreneurs of Nigeria, Amen, Prince Savior Iche, to discuss this issue further. Many thanks for joining us, Prince Iche. Thank you for having me. All right, let's just uh, see what the issues really are. With inflation staggering at about 33.95%, um, what's the situation with uh, small entrepreneurs in terms of um, you know, getting uh, raw materials for their production? What's the situation like? Um, the situation is very alarming. Um, it's, 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 it says all that um, there are some chemicals we are buying for 18,000 naira in 2015. Today, the same chemical is at 148,000. Oh. There are some chemicals are buying for 18,000 naira in 2015. Now, it's almost 500,000. So, what it means is um, the situation is, get, is going out of hand on daily basis. On daily basis, instead of things getting better, it's getting worse. That is why we have so many inflations in the market. So, as it is, um, the entrepreneurs are putting up, closing down their businesses. That is why you can see some multinational companies going out of the, out of the country, Nigeria, because of the unfriendly uh, uh, situation, you know, to do business. So, uh, Prince Iche, uh, so if I got you co correctly, uh, the situation has moved from over um, almost a thousand percent from what you have said now. So, what has it really yeah. resulted? So, have you been circumventing all of that issue? So, is it like uh, you've been uh, uh, increasing cost of uh, you know go or your of your product or uh, what exactly? Have you been mitigating that factor and have you really been surviving? Um, we are only surviving by the grace of God. As, as, um, as of today, about 52% of micro entrepreneurs have closed down their business. And they, as they are closing down their businesses, they are laying off their workers, putting them into the existing labor market. So as it is now, everybody, in order to, in fact, we are hopeless. We are handcuffed the local entrepreneurs, who happen to be the highest uh, uh, employer of labor. All right? And it's unfortunate that as government have not, you know, um, listened to our, our cry all, all, all these years. Coming to the issue of power, we, we provide authority power by ourselves. In fact, the few micro-entrepreneurs that are still remaining, medically, we are, all, we are on coma. And when you classify someone that is on coma medically, there is 50-50 chances of, of surviving. So this time around, we are really need government uh, uh, support. So as it is now, you have an association called um, the Association of Micro and um, Entrepreneurs of Nigeria, AMEN. So as an as association, how have you been able to put your voices together, uh, maybe to reach out to the right sources in terms of... Uh, Implement, uh, regulation and all of that so that uh, there will be some sort of um, leeway for small businesses to thrive in the country? When we have uh, engaged them through social media, we have written a series of protest letters and they, up to today, they don't even attend to our, our, our letters. Right? We don't even tell the, the only... So far, you were trying to explain uh, now, some of these are raw materials that have really gone high over time. Can you just um, break them down to us, please? Prince Che, can you hear us? Yeah, thank you. 
Yeah, go ahead, please. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. I, um, as I was saying, presently, the situation of things in the country is really getting out of hand. When we talk of the, the, the issue of uh, increment in raw material, 62% of the raw material that we were even talking about are byproducts of crude. Mm. Since Nigeria have, have, have stopped producing or refining our local uh, uh, crude, most of those chemicals, after producing it in all the other countries, they have to bring the finished products back to Nigeria. All right, so that is the why the chemicals are increasing on daily basis. And the, we have even told the government one of the ways they can be able to bring down this raw material down is to give the importers of this raw material, let them give them forests and make the, the, the why they are get, getting the product in the, the work, let there be a free custom duty on those raw material and also the machineries. That's the only way they can be able to make the raw material to come down. Okay, so um, as an association, have you, have you been in talks uh, to ask for maybe some sort of uh, a waiver in terms of uh, this uh, forex that you need to, you know, import this raw materials that you need for your, uh, your, for your production? Because as I know, over time, you know, the customs, uh, the NIS, they've actually increased, uh, you know, this their rate, forex rate for importation several times, and even businessmen are a bit confused as per the direction to go. Well, um, there is no waiver. The government, is a, the government does not have a, any special interest in the in this sector because if they do most of the our, our outcry most of our letters they could have listened and attend to our our inspirations they have left everything all right they have left everything the problem is who are who who's supposed to be a minister of trade and investment most of them doesn't know anything about business they don't know anything about business. So that is the issue now. All right, aside from the forex issue that uh, you've talked about, let's look at some of um, other issues that are affecting you know, the growth of small businesses. Over time, we've talked about funding and uh, multiple taxation. What's the situation as it is right now? If, if, uh, let it be known that the, the money that the government have claimed that they are giving to micro entrepreneurs are not getting to the appro appropriate, appropriate uh, 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 um, people. As we have ghost entrepreneurs, likewise we have, uh, uh, um, as we have ghost workers, that's how we also have ghost entrepreneurs. The billions of naira that government are claiming they are giving to, to, to micro entrepreneurs are not getting to people like us. And what's the situation with multiple taxation as we round off now? Hello? What's the situation with multiple taxation in your sector? Please, can you come again, please? Sorry. What's the situation with multiple taxation in your sector? Okay. Um, the multiple taxation is another, is another big problem. Right? This is a, we, the, the entrepreneurs that are, are, are almost get doing everything by themselves. The government will also come with multiple taxes, uh, you know, multiple taxes, making it to be to be boring, making doing business in Nigeria to be boring. You can see how countries, uh, uh, companies are falling off leaving the country because Nigeria is, you know, there's there's no there's no enable uh, uh, environment for business to drive in Nigeria. We're using this opportunity to call on, 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 on the federal government to look into this uh, sector, give it a proper attention, bring somebody that are, are, are 
business oriented to manage minister, uh, 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 the ministry. But as somebody that has done business and know what it means when we are complaining there's, there's, there's cost of chemical, when we are complaining that there's no, there's, there's no power, we need somebody like that who can be able to hear the cry when we are crying. All right, uh, we just hope that um, the government and uh, the people in authorities uh, will be able to tackle all of these issues in the board because we need to promote you know, the small business SMEs in the country because they are the backbone of the nation's economy. I have been speaking with uh, Prince Xavier Iche, he's the national president of the Association of Micro Entrepreneurs of Nigeria. Amen. Many thanks for being a part of the show, Prince Iche. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. All right, thank you so much. And that's the size of the show for today. My name is Justin Akadoni. Many thanks for being there.